Welcome to Around the House Northwest, presented by PGE and Oregon Kind of Energy. Hey guys, welcome back for another edition of Around the House Northwest here on Fox 12 Plus. I'm Eric G. Coming up on today's show, we'll stop by Floor and Decor and talk design trends, show you a great local DIY workshop and board and brush, and discuss ways we can help save you money while heating your home with Ross Trithui. Doesn't matter if you're a first time DIYer or an experienced contractor, I try to give you tips on the show to help make your project go as smoothly as possible. Let's check out this week's Perform Like a Pro. No, it's time for Perform Like a Pro, sponsored by The Wall. All right, guys, today we're gonna build a cover for my firewood here, and it's actually pretty easy. So this is a project I know you can tackle, and we're gonna be using these clear acrylic strips up here as the roof so I can get some light in here as well. First thing, let's get some posts up here because I gotta have something to hold this all together. So we're gonna put the posts and the beams up. That's step one. All right, that's about where I want it. I'll have to move it around a little bit. Let's get the second post in so I get the upper beam. And we can set the next one. This is what supports everything. So you gotta take the time and do these steps right. All right, next step is for me to carry this beam up, set it up here. These are pretty sturdy, but you gotta be careful because without this all being fastened together, it can be a little wonky when you're up there. So uh, always be careful dealing with heavy beams and heights. Let's do this. All right, I got this sitting up here, just the weight of it's holding it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this board and a clamp. I'm just gonna clamp this up here to hold these together from one side and then straddle this with the clamp on the other. That'll give me a little bit of a safety while I'm working with this that it's not gonna move around too much because I wanna make sure to get everything level and square before I sink this in and lock it in place. All right, guys, I'm gonna use these timber locks here to lock in this so it doesn't move around. We got brackets and stuff that are gonna go on the outside anyway, but I wanna get this in here like this. So I'm gonna paint it. So I wanna paint this before I put those final brackets on. One less thing to paint around. So let's get this locked in. All right, two posts in and beam, two more to go. Let's go cut some lumber and get the high side done on this one. All right, so I got the post cut to length so I can get the beam up top. I'm gonna get these fastened in. I designed this so it's gonna be self-supporting so I don't have to rely on this other structure. That way, if I get snow load up on there, it's not a big deal. So more screws, more bolts. Let's get this last one in. That's about where I want it. Time to get those timber locks in and lock that in so it doesn't move. All right, guys, I'm gonna use these skewable joist hangers right here. That way we can get this locked in solid. Okay, and I'm gonna get the last two screws on this side over here, because I want this to fit tight around it. Get the last two screws of this bracket in and... All right, now to get some longer ones, because I'm gonna toenail in, and this will be in tight. It's not going anywhere. All right, guys, so little progress update. So I've got my rafters up there, all my two by sixes. And I also got my end plate up on there. That holds it all together. Now, the last thing I need to do is get these two by fours across the top up there where they're spacers. Those spacers actually help support the plastic acrylic panels. And then what we're gonna do is we'll cut those to fit and screw down into those. So last thing, let's get this last two by four up there. Start putting some panels up. This is where we start making a huge difference on this project. All right, let's get this last two by four in. Now I've got these spaced here at 24 inch increment so I have the right support for this because that just helps keep these panels loaded up right where I want them, especially when we have snow load on this. So any bit of snow, I don't want it to buckle. So that's why these are spaced accordingly. Let me get my nailer. All right, our last bit of these little spacers here and this just follows the contour of that panel to give it the support. And I'm actually gonna screw this down so I don't collapse the plastic down when I put the fasteners through. So let's do these. Last little bit right here. All right, next step, let's get these panels on here. Get this thing under cover before the rain comes. All right, let's notch out for this post here. So I've got this lined up where I want it. And now I can mark 
where this lines up. And then I can see that I have four inches of space. So let's bring it up here where I can work on it on the level. All right, the secret of the fasteners on these is the little rubber washer on the bottom. That way, the rain doesn't leak through. All right, guys, now let's get this overlap right because the winds come from this direction. That's kind of the prevailing wind, so I want to have everything so it's lapped the right way. So what I'm going to do right here is slide this panel underneath so we have this cool little lip over the top of this. Once that snaps in like that, we can fasten through the top of that, and that way it's locked in and the wind doesn't drive any rain underneath. All right guys, the secret of putting this down is to be very careful with this drill driver, because I tell you what, you can blast right through this, so go slow at this. And if you're worried about breaking it out, you can always pre-drill it, but these are really sharp, so they go through really easily. But let me show you. I always just come in, As soon as you start to see it dimple, you're in way tight. Any more than that, it's gonna collect water, and that's how you get a drip down the road. All right, the way we're gonna seal this up at the very top where it meets the side of this railing is gonna be this clear flashing. Now it's an acrylic material, the same as that, and this actually goes up against the top, this will overlays the top. So what happens when the rain comes down? It'll direct down and go over the top of the roof, not under it, which means it's not gonna be dripping down underneath. So let's get this on there, and we're gonna screw that down like the rest of the panels. All right, I'm gonna get this overlay locked in right here. All right, guys, this is a project I know you can tackle. And you know something that's gonna keep things dry all winter long, and that's a win.